We're, we're, we're both a bit in shock still. We're both yeah. sort of recovering from the full force of seeing something that's taken 10 years to get to this point, both of real people's lives and of the characters' stories. And we just, it, it's, it's, I'm, speeches is a bad thing to be in the middle of an interview, but it's, it's that kind of feeling of how do you, we were both trying to fight back tears on stage. Yeah. It's terribly really moving. Crying. It's really moving. I was nearly crying. You know, I've been such a huge fan of these franchises since the beginning and I was sitting on stage on the floor with the Avengers watching Avengers that I'm in. You are an Avenger, yeah. I can't believe it. I genuinely, I nearly cried. I genuinely nearly cried. I'm so glad to find out that you also <laughs> nearly cried though. I wasn't the we only were, one. We were holding back man tears. Right? Yeah, manly tears. Manly, manly tears. The reaction of so many people where you have Spider-Man that just came out so it's current in people's minds and you, I mean that, that reaction could have broken glass and you have Hulk and I remember talking to Mark and I was like when I first got into it I was like what's this like and he was like I'm on stage and I feel like an idiot and I don't know what I'm doing and then I see the movie and I go oh my god I'll do anything you want I'll do it naked I'll do it whatever you want <laughs> it doesn't matter because what they're able to do just with this cutting-edge technology is incredible it makes every fantasy come true literally it's fun to get the reveal, you know, I haven't even seen the reveal, you know, you're doing this stuff and it's great conceptually and you're happy to be a part of it and I know a lot of these guys from, you know, we're all kind of old school guys except for like Tom, Spider-Man, he's a kid, he's a little kid, but it's really nice to be a part of it, but when you see the actual manifestation, it's, it's fun, I'm still reeling, it's a, it's a, it's a really good time. I mean, you know, I think uh, we really surprised the audience with the footage. Uh, it was intentional misdirect uh, to make sure that they didn't expect it. And then when they finally realized they were getting it, I thought it was really one, for me, one of the more special moments I've had as a filmmaker. I don't, I think, like, I, we don't even know what to do right now. I mean, we, that's the first time I, I've seen anything, we've seen anything, so it's speechless. Yeah, it was pretty intense. Everybody seemed to get way more than what they expected. It was just a very wide stage and a wide audience. Uh, so it's massive. It's like a like an ocean of people out there. Um, and they were so excited um, for literally every person that came out. Um, you saw how much they love these movies and um, and the uh, the assembly of all of us together. It, it was it was incredible it was incredible to watch it it just it felt so special to have so many of the amazing cast members of Avengers all together um, and then there were 7,000 people in the audience and they were all Marvel fans and they were screaming the house down and it just felt like electricity I'm just so grateful that I got to experience that it was such a high yeah I mean it was pretty pretty amazing and uh, just to see 10 years of um, cinematic history converge on one stage at this moment in time was uh, was awe-inspiring. Well, it was, you know, one of the maddest things I ever, I ever just did. I, I mean, just walking out there and seeing that many people, because I had this, the, 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 the camera shot gives you the sense that there are about a hundred people in there. Yeah, you can't really And then you, I went out and it was just in this enormous, cavernous very, space. Very but, wide. Yeah. There are a lot of people hidden in the corners. It's a lot of people and a lot of screaming and it was it's really exciting to see how people react when they hear or see someone's name or see them on screen and it was, it's really exciting. It's very special. We talked about it on the stage today. Next year will be our 10th anniversary. The first 10 years of Marvel Studios. It's been beyond our wildest dreams. Our dream was let's make a movie ourselves and that was Iron Man 1. And to be in this position, and Robert and I were just talking about it backstage, to be in this position almost 10 years down the line is incredible. And bringing out on stage today D23, Avengers, and Guardians, and Doctor Strange, and Black Panther, and Spider-Man is in the universe now. It is overwhelming and it was very, very humbling being out there for the D23 Expo today. It really is an embarrassment of riches and seeing this amazing ensemble that we've assembled um, is, uh, is, is humbling. I mean, it really is, it is, I think, the best group and the biggest group of actors ever assembled for a single overarching storyline. And having them all, they were shooting just yesterday in Atlanta and they got on a plane, they flew all night and they all came out here and guess what? They're all gonna fly back and keep working on it. But how could we pass up D23? This is it. I mean, it's fascinating because I think it's an unprecedented experiment in filmmaking where multiple franchises are interwoven into one major narrative. And I think, uh, you know, what's really special is, you know, being able to, uh, you know, write the final chapters of that book 
with these next two Avengers movies. And um, uh, you know, again, as a as a as a comic book collector and a fanboy, uh, I got to pinch myself sometimes.